Hey guys, I'm going to show you something really simple today, how to monitor both your GPU and your CPU temperature and utilization. As you can see here in Battlefield 3, I can easily see what's going on in both areas. And it also show your frame rate as well. So it's something easier than fraps because fraps is good, but it only shows frame rate. You want to show see a little bit something extra instead of flipping tabs in game. So basically, all you need to do is download two programs. The two key programs where you need to download, I'll have them both in the description, uh, MSI Afterburner, so you just click download MSI Afterburner, and you want to download HW Info. If you go on the HW Info website, you can just download whichever ones um, for your operating system. So if you've got a 32-bit operating system, you download the 32-bit, whereas you download the 64 if you've got a 64. Just essentially the same thing. Essentially the same thing. Or you can click on the download tab and download whichever one you want. It doesn't really matter where you get it from because they're all reputable sources. So once you've installed both both of these programs, MSI Afterburner will look like this. And HW Info, when I open it up, will look like this little program here. And so MSI Afterburner lets you monitor your GPU specifically, depending on what the speed what the temperature is and it'll let you modif overclock some settings but that's that's not for today so if you go into your settings tab on MSI Afterburner you'll see a few options but what we're really interested in is the on-screen um, is the monitor in an on-screen display so in here we have um, a few options that we can choose but for the interest of this video I'm, I'm wanting to monitor the GPU temperature and the GPU usage so if you click on either of these two you'll want to tick the box which says show in on screen display as well as the other one just to make sure that you can see them both in the on screen display and then on the on screen display tab if you click the more tab you need to make sure that on screen display is turned on and essentially just press ok and that's all you realistically need to do but on your HW info you'll get you'll get some settings all you need to do is you click run wait for it to load up just give it a second and you'll get you'll get these options if i just shift everything over everything across it'll just bring up some general information about all the components in your computer and all the monitoring systems and all the sensors so you've got but you don't need to worry about too much what you want to do is click the button here which says configure and you get a full list of all the sensors in your computer I know it might look a bit daunting but it's quite simple you just need to look at specific parts of your actual computer so you'll want to find whatever CPU you've got and you want to find either this or something similar it's your total CPU usage and what you want to do here to make it display on your on-screen display as similar with MSI is you want to click show and label and you want to label whatever you, you can do this any way you want but you can set them on different lines as you saw in Battlefield so you can, as you saw the GPU and MSI afterburner will be set to its own line one so it doesn't matter your the line one column will be underneath the MSI afterburner's GPU output so it doesn't matter what you set it to, it's not going to overwrite the other one. So what you can do if you don't actually want a full length total CPU usage, you can set a custom name. So if you put CPU U and then rename, it'll change it for you and then it'll just be nice and simple. But we also want to find the actual CPU temperature. So if we go on down to the actual temperature sensor that we've got for all your different uh, components, if we go here and go to CPU, we can go show and label again. And what we can do is we can click line 1, so it's on the same line as the um, CPU usage. But if you put it in column 2, it'll be next to it, so it will show you this usage and the temperature next to each other. Like it does with the GPU, the GPU will be the same in MS Afterburner. And then all you need to do is click close for that. You have to keep this window open and MSI after, after burner open, you can minimize them both and keep them out of the way. But essentially, that's just a simple way to show 
your GPU usage with temperatures as well as your CPU usage and temperatures and your frame rate. 